and uh, they were a lot better than we were tonight, certainly. Beat us offense, defense, and special teams. Their special teams were very good. Ours were not very good tonight. But uh, it's one loss. It's, it's a game we didn't play our best. Had some penalties here and there. Uh, looked like we got back in the game, and uh, they responded with a touchdown in about five plays there. Had a good kickoff return. Uh, you know, we thought we were downwind. And then, uh, and then we had that holding penalty after we were nine down. Who knows what would have happened at midfield there. But uh, overall, they outplayed us, outcoached us, outsmarted us. Certainly, they were deserving to win the game. Simple as that. What do you know, Steve, about Connor? We right think now? Connor, well, he had a concussion. So, it, you know, at first, uh, saw him get hit. I thought maybe it was his shoulder, but it was uh, a concussion that uh, I talked to him right at the end of the game. And I said, you know what play he got hit on? He said, yeah, he knew the play. He knew everything. So, hopefully, it's not a, uh, a real deep concussion, but we'll just have to wait and see. If he couldn't go next week, Steve, would he go to Dylan or Clifford? we go with Dylan and Bruce. Yeah, yeah. So the combination there. Steve, your secondary. Bruce had a good game. Huh? Secondary play tonight. I mean, they had a lot of guys running wide open. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they're they a good passing team. And they pass block. After that. Uh, unfortunately, we're not real good at pass block. Antonio Allen, uh, was he just not clear to play? He, he couldn't go. It's called a uh, neck muscle spasm, part of his neck prevented him from playing. Steve, how tough of a spot was it for Can to have to go play right tackle? AJ Can? Yeah. Oh, he's played a little bit of right tackle. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Did, you, did you guys think that was a possibility going into this yeah. game? Yeah, he worked there. Yeah. yeah, he worked there. After Devin scored, did you think you could get away with kind of the offensive game plan that you'd had at last week? Yeah. yeah, we tried a bit here and there. Yeah, we tried to keep it on the ground. We tried some here and there. And, and really those uh, two drives in the second half were a combination of runs and throws and this, that, and the other. And, uh, and we were hoping we had to win to our back. I thought the wind was to our back because on the sideline it was howling from our right to left. But we could not kick the dang thing in the end zone. We couldn't do it. <laughs> their kid ran one all the way back and then ran that last one back to about midfield. So our coverage could have been better. But that's a big part of the game. And, uh, and we, we just had a lot of crucial bad plays. Uh, Brandon, Brandon Wiles and his fumble, he went the wrong way. He went off the left tackle instead of right tackle. Just uh, said he heard wrong, wrong play or something. This uh, second one, you know, and, 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 and that was. Uh, the game was pretty close that time. What was the score? We had about 24 or 14 or so, maybe. So I'm not sure. But we had a lot of good breaks as far as, you know, as far as those guys dropping passes and so forth. I don't know how many they dropped, but they dropped a few for us. And, uh, but what? We, we, we just thoroughly got beat. AJ went in because of play. Cody was not injured. Cody's just replaced. No, he just gave him, yeah, he just gave him too much pressure and gave him run over, uh, according to coach. So we tried to. Trying to do something there. How much is the offensive line responsible for you not being able oh, to do We're all responsible. We're all responsible. They, they do the best they can. They do the best they can. And uh, that's why we run the ball more than we throw it. You know, we're just, we're not really. But you, you guys watch it. You, you watch it. And, uh, and give Arkansas credit. I mean, they, they, played, they played well. Did, did you feel like, Steve, early you were able to get some pressure on Wilson? Um, got a little bit. Game. Yeah, we got a little bit, but he, he had a lot of time. He had a lot of time standing in the pocket, standing in the pocket, and throwing. So, Steve, how do you address the team going forward? You oh, our, about Florida. Our, or you mentioned Georgia. Oh, or, we know where we are. Yeah, we got we got old Auburn beats Georgia, and we beat Florida. Simple as that. Yeah. We can win the division next week. Auburn, Auburn's a pretty good team. They'll be ready for Georgia. We'll, we'll be ready for Florida. So it'll be decided next week, one way or the other. After you played so well defensively recently, were you a little disappointed that you guys didn't execute a little better tonight? Yeah, we're disappointed. We didn't quite. We knew we had to have a fierce pass rush uh, against these guys because uh, Tyler Wilson can throw it around. They got good receivers. And they had, they got good scheme things. So uh, they they got guys open, and he can throw it in there.
Coach, even though they got 44 points, the defense made some, some yeah. pretty good stands. Made some good stops there at the end. I told the defense, I'm really proud of you guys stopping them at the end of the game. Uh, after after uh, the interception, they dropped an in on us when we were trying to throw to Alshon. And uh, just a good play by those guys. And uh, so we were only nine down when uh, we got the ball up to midfield and the holding penalty came out of nowhere. You don't see Holden Pelly when the quarterback rolls out of the pocket very often, but uh, we saw one of those tonight. And uh, maybe it was, maybe, who knows. But uh, that, that, that hurt in the next play. Uh, Connor got hit while he was throwing. But uh, give those guys credit. Uh, they, they made a lot of yards, had a lot of offense, and their special teams were much better than ours were tonight. So do you remember a season with as many personnel <coughs> losses? Yeah, we've had a few injuries, but I never really like to talk about it that much. But that's part of football. And the uh, next guy's got to go play. Kenny Miles had the heck of a game. Kenny played very well in there. And uh, made some good catches and runs with the ball there in the third, third quarter, the early fourth quarter. Was it by design to put him in on the second series, Steve, or was Brandon? Yeah, we were going to play both of them. Yeah, they were both ready to play. Would you have liked to have seen one more blitzing from your side to maybe try and put some pressure? On Wilson, or were you confident the front four could get it done? Well, I will have to talk to our defensive coach about that. Uh, we tried, I think we tried a little bit of everything. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Steve, Based were you on what you said with Connor uh, throughout the night, though, in how he ran the ball, did you think maybe he ran a little too quickly sometimes? Well, maybe, maybe. You know, we'd have to watch the tape. But most of the time, he was getting some pressure. Maybe a few times he could have hung him in and thrown him. Um, but, uh, we didn't have many yards. We got 28 points somehow. Devin got seven. And uh, the offense either had three drives or nothing. Yeah, three drives or nothing. That was about it. Just your initial impression, Steve, from the field level of how you thought DeMario played. DeMario Jeffrey. Oh, I'll have to watch the tape. I don't know if he. Holloman, is a concussion? Yeah, he had, uh, yeah, sort of a neck uh, head concussion also. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Sneak, sneak back in that thing for a minute.